What's going on, you wild ape enthusiasts out there? Your two favorite movie critics are back tonight, and we're here to review the final film in the recent Planet of the Apes trilogy. This one, again, directed by Matt Reeves. We're talking about the third installment, War for the Planet of the Apes. And that's right, we are headed into this third installment in the Planet of the Apes trilogy, directed by Matt Rees, and this one is starring Woody Harrelson as kind of the Colonel Kurtz character from Apocalypse Now, uh, Marlon Brando's character, if you'll remember him, and uh, you know Martin Sheen had to go deep into the jungle to confront him, and much like that movie, this is heavily inspired by that film Apocalypse Now, you know, to the point where it says Ape Apocalypse Now on one of the walls walls in the caves um, but this is really the culmination of what we saw from the last film dawn of the planet apes kind of the tension building between the the uh, last of the humans on earth the survivors and then you have the apes led by caesar this picks up a couple years after dawn and here we pick up with caesar he's the leader here he's got his family and and there's you know some heavily armed sur human survivors that are coming to, you know, just basically wipe, wipe them out, take them, keep them as slaves. And that's what happens here. And that introduces Woody Harrelson uh, to the franchise. This is like much like the Western film of the franchise. I loved what they did with this movie, the whole tone of the movie, much like Apocalypse Now meets a Western. I felt like, mm -hmm. um, as you can see the, the shot behind me, one of my favorite shots in the movie is Caesar on the horse and the, has a gun and everything much like Clint Eastwood or John Wayne or something. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd see back in Westerns. I just love the vibe of this. He's grown so much, you know, since the first film, 2011, when that came out to where he's at now. He's a family man. He has kids, you know, married, leading all these people. They've all grown as more intelligent over time. They've started their own families. They're almost smarter than humans, you know. And this is a film of apes versus humans. Once again, you know, introducing Woody Harrelson's character, you know, capturing them, keeping them as slaves, killing them off. So he's just a really bad, bad man, you know, and Caesar and him go, head to head in the movie and it's a really nice setup you know going to the snowy filled mountains in this movie it felt like you know montana a lot is on the line of course this is the final installment and it, of course doesn't have a happy ending no it doesn't it's not about happiness in this trilogy it's about the apes taking over and it's about the humans of course you know eventually fucking everything up for everybody for for all races really uh, but, you know, there are some uplifting messages throughout the film. It's about Caesar and family and Caesar, you know, sympathizing with humans, too. He, he finds humans to love here. He finds the character, um, the little girl in the film here, Nova, played by Amaya Miller here in this film. Um, so there is compassion and heart to the film as well. But this is really about, you know, Woody Harrelson's character coming back for revenge um, as you know, I think he had his own family and, you know, eventually through his greed and uh, lust for uh, violence, basically, he ruins everything. Well, he's known as the colonel in this, in this film. And we see him with the war paint in the beginning, towards the beginning of the film uh, with the waterfall. They're kind of hiding out from him in these in the caves behind the waterfall. And then we see him swoop in with the ropes. Really cool scene where he's coming to try to take out uh, Caesar and the rest of the apes. And, you know, that leads to the ultimate conflict here. It's going to be all these humans that are heavily armed. And like we mentioned, the colonel who has all these apes on his side, too, who he's basically brainwashed into, uh, you know, being, uh, you know, slaves for him doing what he says and then keeping a bunch captive in cages. And basically, he's uh, a really terrible human being and a son of a bitch and somebody that you root for, Caesar to take out by the end of the film well yeah because caesar's you know kid ends up getting killed by the colonel so there's revenge you know caesar's yeah. absolutely you know angry and he wants revenge wants to kill a colonel and i'm like yes i'm with you caesar you know throughout the film you're like let's 
capture the son of a bitch. He's just such a mean guy, and what he does to the apes is, is you know, super terrible. Um, but eventually, you know, they get the revenge. You know, the apes towards the third act of the movie get out, of course. See the ultimate demise of Woody Harrelson's character, which are, of course, clapping. Really is the story of Caesar and the apes, you know, how far they've come. Them getting into freedom, going out in this huge battle at the end of the film, Man, up in the mountains. Awesome. It was super awesome. Even better with the visual effects in this movie, Jesus. Each film just gets better and better. This time, just it's realistic looking. It looks like real apes out there and really fighting humans. <laughs> Score in this movie, composer Michael Giacchino, one of my favorites mm-hmm. in the business, of course, from Pixar's Up and a bunch of other films. I love his score in this movie. It really builds the tension. And, of course, we have cinematographer Michael Saracen doing the, the cinematography in this movie, which is absolutely beautiful and builds a apocalypse now kind of set. This is definitely the best in the trilogy. All, everybody involved in this film really put their heads together and made a near perfect film here to end this trilogy. You know, we have Matt Reeves here directing this film. Everything looks beautiful. Nothing looks like a green screen, like you mentioned. The amount of detail and the the CGI work that what they were able to accomplish with the look of these apes and everything just looks fantastic. It looks realistic. And this was 2017, which is, you know, pretty amazing because it's been several years since back then. But it, it just looks phenomenal. Um, it just kept getting better throughout this trilogy. Practical mixed with the uh, computer effects. Everything looked great. And then the motion capture work and the amount of emotion that Andy Serkis was able to portray with, you know, seeing, you know, he could see his eyes and Caesar and through the performance, he really captured something special here in this third film, really, you know, uh, bearing the weight of losing a child and going out for revenge. He really hit a home run best uh, Andy Serkis performance here in this third one, especially he really time to shine in this film. Uh, but like you mentioned, yep, it has a it has a sad ending. It, it really is all about how the apes recognize Caesar for what he was able to do for the whole uh, race here, and how Caesar is always going to be remembered within uh, this tribe of apes, and you know throughout the the future of the apes and into that new franchise that's going to lead to with the kingdom of the planet of the apes, and that's going to take place three hundred years after these films so it's going to be quite a different story following different characters there but it's all about the legacy that caesar left behind yeah it was really uh caesar leading them to battle and coming out on top and getting into freedom in this film andy circus of course returning yeah like you said his best performance um you know caesar the best film in the trilogy for sure matt reeves this is up there one of my favorite uh films from him for sure Uh, I liked it better than Dawn, so this is definitely the best film in the trilogy. Loved everything about it across the board, the bad guys, the whole story, what they're fighting for, um, just the visual effects. Station Ed up here in the mountains, the snow-covered mountains, was really awesome. Woody Harrelson was fantastic. Role I've never seen from him, and a really scary bad guy. And then, of course, leading up into the end and the ultimate demise of Caesar, but what it really stands for and what it's going to do when the upcoming film coming out, Kingdom. So really excited for that. You know, the only complaint for me is I slept on these movies. I didn't watch them until recently. I wish I would watch these when they're out in the theater. So kind of bummed I didn't see them in the theater, but still a great viewing at home and had an absolute blast with War for the Planet of the Apes, and I highly recommend it. So this is definitely my favorite of the trilogy. And I'm going to give War for the Planet of the Apes. I'm going to give it a five out of five. Matt Reeves, hair pieces. Absolutely agree with you. Best out of the franchise. Loved everything about it. Like you mentioned, mixing like a Western with Apocalypse Now. Uh, Just purely cinematic joy here uh, for watching this again, rewatching this for the second time. It holds up in every single facet. One of Matt Reeves' best films. Love the look of it. An awesome movie all around, um, and I can't wait for the new films and see where the you know legacy of Caesar leads to and what kind of characters we'll get from that. I'm very intrigued. So that being said, I'm going to give War for the Planet of the Apes. You're damn right. It's going to get a five out of five. Steve Zahn hair pieces. So I want to hear from all you wild apes out there. What did you like about War for the Planet of the Apes? So what did you like about it? What's your favorite flick in the franchise? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to stab!
subscribe. Also check out these wild rascals on Facebook, X and Instagram and our website, cinefels.com for the latest, greatest TV movie news and reviews. Well, I guess this leads us into and has us all prepared for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, doesn't it? I can't wait to go see that at the theater. So Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is going to be released on May 24th. Yep. Right. So that's that's really only a few months away. That's going to be one of the movies that kick off the summer movie season. So I'm very excited about that. And yeah, it's going to be 300 years after this one and uh, feature some new characters. And it looks like it's mostly going to be all about the apes, not too many humans involved in this one. So it's really going to this next trilogy as they they have, have it planned. It's kind of going to lead up until what we saw in the original Planet of the Apes. When the uh, you know astronauts crash landed and onto the planet of the apes, so this is going to bridge the gap in between uh, the you know the trilogy we just saw and those films, which is, is interesting. Maybe we should revisit the original 1968 one eventually. Me and Neo can talk about it. Yeah. Revisit Charlton Heston and be awesome. There's four of those original movies. Uh, the first one with Charlton Heston, obviously being the best and most re- memorable and. Uh, remembered for you know a, a lot of one-liners and uh, scenes from that movie so yeah we should definitely check that out before the new one that would be a good idea so until those boys get together for the next cinefellas movie review i'm uncle henry heston and i'm uncle logan circus signing out until the next movie review Jeez. Jeez.